those couple of days of small declines come after we saw the highest levels since um, back in, well, roughly around July of last year, depending on exactly which European index you uh, <coughs> look at. D David Costa joins us now. <coughs> Excuse me. David Costa joins us now, Dean at um, Robert Kennedy College, and uh, hopefully his voice is holding up a little better than mine this morning. Um, I, reading through your notes, I see that you are, um, once again, very optimistic, as we've uh, come to expect from you, David, talking about um, how investors can get into the innovation that exists in Europe. Just set out your stall for us. What do you mean? Good morning. Well, I think I have a sort of turn a page uh, from the crisis and move it on and see where we could find opportunities in Europe. And I, one of the big misunderstandings is that there is now this concept that Europe is going to be uncompetitive and is going to be not so innovative for the future. But in this situation, I have seen countries in Europe, for example, Ireland, moving faster in innovation initiative. For example, on establishing or guaranteeing more uh, investments in the IT sector, having, for example, both Microsoft and Amazon to establish their cloud services in Ireland. So I think in Europe uh, there are still opportunities, particularly innovation sector. And if we look at the companies which had a great start of the year, we see Apple, for example, and all this growth is driven by innovation. So in a way, a solution throughout this crisis for governments to create new jobs and find new solutions is to open a really strong innovative agenda and create a climate for companies to innovate in the country. Yeah, fair enough. But, uh, David, some of these examples are very specific, aren't they? The, the thing with uh, Ireland in particular, and Iceland for that matter as well, is that they are very small economies, very small, flexible economies um, that, uh, in their own individual instances, are able to grasp onto these, in, these ideas of innovation. Very different, though, to uh, big economies of southern Europe like Greece um, or, uh, well, certainly like Spain, f for instance. And also, for that matter, the companies that are growing in Ireland aren't Irish companies anyway. They're companies from um, elsewhere, particularly from the states that decide to set up their European base now. So it doesn't make an Irish investment case per se. Well, I think uh, it is true that many of these companies are big multinational, but it creates an ecosystem where also local companies and local talent get employed in these initiatives. Now, if we look globally, for example, cloud services is one of the things that might change the way we use computers. We create 50 million jobs uh, on a global basis by 2015, and that is from a report of this month commissioned by Microsoft. In terms of, uh, you're totally right to say that uh, this might not be enough for bigger economies, but the other solution for bigger economies and again, to find ways to rebuild a production base, to rebuild some sort of uh, not just services, but also production and initiative. Now, because in production it's very difficult to be competitive with higher wages uh, as opposed to, for example, Asia, one of the ways is really to look into sectors where uh, European but also American companies are not ready yet uh, to delegate all the things uh, to Asia. For instance, in data. Data security is extremely important, and I think that many countries in Europe could play yeah. this car to create new jobs and new initiatives in IT, which doesn't have to be limited, as you say, to small economies. It can grow out in bigger ones. Yeah, a great point there. And David, what is interesting, whether you're talking about Apple or another big tech giant, is that innovation is key, but the, one of the downside risks is that uh, if they don't have innovation, uh, that is going to be a big headwind because much of what they earn, their revenues, uh, is not reincurring. It actually comes for new sales. So which companies do you actually find is, a, is becoming a big leader in innovation aside from Apple? Well, th there are several companies which are, are moving ahead. I would say, uh, as opposed to Apple, we have to look also at the, at the really big competition, which is coming from Android phones. And, for example, Samsung is trading a much more reasonable valuation than Apple, and might still have an upside, an upside run here. But you're totally right that the innovation pipeline has to be there to continue growing. And at that stage, I will really look at the valuation and perhaps not go into the biggest name like Apple, where perhaps we have already a huge run on the upside, but also look at those companies in the same sector, in the same innovation path, that have still a very decent valuation and can create an opportunity, both in Europe and outside Europe. Mm. Okay, David, thanks for uh, coming to join us today. David Costa from Robert Kennedy College. So let's get to